video, I'm going to show you how to round to the nearest 1,000. So when we're doing these type of rounding questions, what you need to do is to consider the multiples of 1,000 that fall either side of the number given in your question. So when I say multiples of 1,000, I just mean the numbers in the 1,000 times table. So the first number, the one that's smaller than this one, would be 2,000. Okay, so that's a multiple of 1,000. And the bigger one would be 3,000. So this number falls in between 2,000 and 3,000. So our job is to round this number up or down to one of these. And we have to round it to the one that it's closest to. So you might already be able to see which one it's closest to, which in that case is great, and you can just write down the answer. But if you're not sure, what you need to do is check the third from the end number. So this one here, so third from last. And remember, when you're rounding, if you see the number five or a number that's bigger than five, then you need to round up. And if you see a number that's smaller than five, then you don't round up. So in this one, because we have the number five, that means we round up. So in the first one, the nearest thousand is 3,000. But maybe you already spotted that at the beginning, which is great. So on to the next one, I'm going to use exactly the same method and I'm going to write down the multiples of 1,000 that fall either side of this number. So the smaller one will be 68,000 and the bigger one will be 69,000. So if you're not sure how to spot those multiples, the smaller one is just this number here written out, but the last three zeros well, three numbers turn to zeros and this one over here is just the left hand number there but plus a thousand so just like before you're going to check the third from last number so one two three so that one and again because this number is bigger than five that means we're going to round up in this question as well so the nearest one thousand is sixty nine thousand all right, on to the next one. I'm going to use the same method. I'm going to write down the two multiples of 1,000, starting with the smaller one here. So the bigger one is 75,000. So you might be able to spot straight away which one this number's closest to, but if you can't, check that third digit there, the third one from the end, and this time it's smaller than five which means we have to round down in this question. So this one is 74,000. Okay, and on to the last one. So this is an even bigger number, but that's fine. It's exactly the same method. So write down your two multiples. So this one is a big number, is 963,000. And this one must be 964,000. So again, if you can't spot those, the easiest way is to write that number out again, but changing those last three digits there to zeros. And then to find this one, you just add 1,000 to this number here. So check that third from last digit, so this one here, and it's bigger than five, so that means we have to round up. So our, our answer in the last one is 964,000. So some of you might find these questions easy and you might find them as just being common sense. But if you struggle with finding the nearest 1,000, you can just write out the multiples of 1,000 that fall either side of your number and then check the third from last number to see if you're rounding up or if you're rounding down. Notice how in all of my answers, there are three zeros at the end of my number, just like the number 1000. So if your answers don't have three zeros at the end, you know you've made a mistake. So you might want to check your answer and have another go. So I hope you now understand rounding to the nearest 1000. If you're still not that confident on rounding, I have some more videos on rounding, so you can check those out on my channel. So anyway, that's bye-bye uh, from me.